Hello everyone, just got back from the hobby shop and we got another cool project. Now we have a BMW. Ooh buddy, it's an E30. It's a clear coat and this one is by HPI Racing. HPI Racing, excuse me. Ooh, I'm thirsty. I need some water. I'm thirsty. Anyways. The BMW by HPI Racing. We have our official BMW Rondo. It is a uh, BMW controlled uh, designing here. So they had the licensing and software rights to make this for us to create. It looks like it does come with a uh, spoiler on the back. That's in the bag and there's decals in there. So... When you have a BMW, you got to get BMW wheels. So, check these bad boys out. Ooh. So, what I like about these, you can do a customization of the offset. So, the inner piece right here of these uh, wheels, the inside portion, you can actually control how deep you want them to sit. Check that out. Control how deep... Uh, the inside spoke portion sits on the wheels and you glue it to where you need it to be. So you can have the perfect fitment. Let's see my phone. I can see myself. Now we had to get ourselves some medium compound tires for it. Uh, mediums recommended for your black top. Hardest is uh, smooth concrete, polished surfaces and uh, more indoor stuff. But medium to soft. You can use outside, but if you're going super, super fast, all the power, of course, the softer you get anything, the faster your tires will wear out. So we're going to have to put these tires onto that wheel set. This is a light kit. has headlights. Look, I'll show you what I paid for it. $28. Oh, my goodness, for this light kit. So it's got um, all these bulbs in here. So you got headlights, fog lights. Turn signals and stop lights. I think there's a total of eight bulbs in there. And that all is wired right there into the receiver. That's pretty neat. I've used something like this before. And the paint we have, we're going with a different type of paint. This is the Tractus Company Paint Pro Graphics. So we're going to go with a bright yellow. Look at that. Boo! A $10 can. A $10 can, ah. Oh, they assured me at the hobby shop this would spread a little bit further. So we're going yellow for our color. And this is our backer, which is a uh, metallic silver. So, you know what's next? I have to get into taping and masking. So I'm going to tape this thing up. I do not think, I'm not going to do any uh, stripes on this. I'm going to keep it uh, solid color, no stripes. And I am going to do something maybe different for the lights for when the light gets put in. I looked in something where you can use the decals and the lights. And uh, if you just leave them on there, I heard it can go right through. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. Might look into that a little bit more. So check that out. It's a cool E30. I like how the windows are smoked, though. It's never usually the case when you get into it. You either have to tint them yourself or glaze them somehow anyways i'll get into masking and uh i'll come back when she's all taped up see you in a bit all right welcome back and i know it's not masked but holy inflatable nikes this is completely different from the traxxas set i had to cut out the wheel wells and everything so this is a more traditional thing this was a huge eye-opener to remember how hard it is to cut out wheel wells. All of this had to be removed from the body. Um, the reason why I do this is because I like to find the fitment first on the uh, on the RC. Sorry, so I find the fitment first. I like to uh, prep the wheel wells, drill the holes, then paint and put it on. Why? It's a lot harder to do that when you don't have the pre-drilled holes. So I guess Traxxas, wow, thanks for doing some pre-drilling and helping us on the Mustang, but ooh, this was hard. And no, these are not uh, 
rough walls right here. That's the clear plastic on the other side from after me cutting it. So helpful hint, how you can cut these wheel wells out. You cut straight lines to the Lexan walls. So this is the Lexan plastic right where the wheel well is. So example, this line here, you would cut a line, straight line to that. If you have the curved scissors, even better for uh, bodies, you can get curved scissors. You're gonna cut a line from the outside and stop right at where the curve of the body is or where the wheel well is. Then you'll fold the plastic over back, fold it forward, fold it back, fold it forward, and then it will become brittle enough to snap right on the line. So these are actual sharp wheel wells. That's just the plastic um, covering. It's kind of jagged like that. But it does take some time to do that. So I had to cut out all the wheel wells and I had to cut out, or the, the fender flares had to cut all those out and I had to cut the excess flexing that's around the skirt bottom of the uh, body kit here. Uh, I found out this kit actually comes with, ooh, look at that. Comes with light buckets. So I will be able to put a light kit in this a lot easier than the Mustang. However, I just have to cut them out. You drill here, put your light bulb through the back side here, and then you glue it to uh, the inside of your grill in there. And then that is the light bucket. Same thing for the rear. I'll cut that out, drill, put my lights right through after I drill, and then glue to the inside of the back, right there. And then you have your rear lights. So now we are ready for taping. All right, see you in a bit. All right, we're taped up, masked up. Like I said, not doing any crazy de designs on this one. Just gonna paint it as is, no stripes, no lines. Try to make it look as original as possible, even though we're making it yellow, whatever. But uh, the masking material with this uh, wasn't the most difficult. It was very thin. It did cover the windows the best. So I did like the coverage. The bubbles that's just on the inside of the middle it's not going to really matter and it did come with masking uh circles for the headlights which are important because since it comes with buckets now we can definitely put a lighting system in it without wasting any decals on it so this is going to go nice but it definitely a little slightly longer project so it's all masked up and uh i actually already washed it it's going to be ready for paint so i know please ignore this that's not the harsh wells i see it in the or the flares I see it in the camera that is just the plastic cover right there it's pretty smooth though it's gonna look nice uh, look at that the e30 this thing's gonna be sick look at that that thing is cooler than a dipping dots cart right there mm, this thing's gonna be looking nice all right I'll uh, come back with some stills of the paint process of the different layers that I do in the different coats so, first yellow, then we'll do the silver backer. All right, see you in a bit. Check out the stills. Hope this turns out. Welcome back. Here's the final sprayed car. Light buckets are not installed yet. This kit did come with a light bucket kit, which is pretty neat. The front grill right here, that is a decal, and the lights are part of the decal, but what's interesting about the decal for here, for this, excuse me, is it's for LED lights. So just where the light portions are, where the light bulbs, it's a little translucent there, so it'll let some, uh, the light kit come through. And the rear lights, the rear decals are also like that. So, uh, I really did like this kit when it came out towards masking was pretty sharp. The only thing I did not like was I had to cut out the wheels more traditional. Let's sit down here. So I had to do, uh, I don't have a wheel cutting tool. I think I'm, I think I need to invest in one of those. So I had to score the wheel or the wheel well. I think I explained that uh, earlier. So you do a series of small cuts with angled scissors. And then you bend the Lexan back and forth, back and forth, and you pull it off. 
that's the cleanest way I felt to get a cut. And then I, I did have to use uh, some sandpaper. I used 200 grain to get the nicer arches. Not perfect. I, I, I think I'm gonna get convinced to buy the, the wheel cutter. It'll cut perfect lines. Um, they cost like 40 and 50 bucks. Kind of steep, but I guess to get perfect lines all the time, it's worth it. So that's the E30 there though. Uh, I don't know if I was really impressed with the Traxxas paint. I think I should have got more cans. I did a single can of the yellow and a single can of the metallic. The metallic actually came out to be, um, it might have been my fault for not investigating it further, but it came out to be a sparkle. So the metallic flake, I guess if you were mixing that with paint, I was expecting more of a metallic a metal, uh, an aluminum or a silver color. So I guess next time I'll just do a, a white backer or a silver. I, I, that was my fault and I should have looked into that. And I should have went with two paint cans for my primary color. The reason why I like using two cans or more because I do so many coats to get the best layment of the paint. I know some people do it with one can and they can really spread it, but I like really just, I put I put paint down so light, it's almost like a snow dusting. And then I do multiple, multiple, multiple uh, coatings of small. And I know it can be costly more, but it just looks so much better. The Mustang I did in the previous video, that was eight coats of just patience and spraying. This was three. And uh, that can just did not go. This can, I think, I think it was a 5.3 ounce can. And the Tamiya cans are just over a three ounce. So you're not getting exactly double, just less than double. Um, not blaming the shop owner. He recommended to me that uh, that can would spread a little further. But uh, I should have stayed within my own comfort zone. He, maybe he's a better uh, body painter than I am. He might have better tricks, but I prefer to not oversaturate it, to run into the lines. I just prefer multiple coats, light coats. Um, we can't paint like robots perfectly smooth back and forth, but uh, that's why you need to have patience with these are key. Instead of holding the can out 10 to 12 inches away and dusting, that's what I prefer to do, but I, I just couldn't do that. So, anyways, um, I'll do a quick fitment and see how it fits on the car. I'll be right back. All right, just doing a little body fitment test. There's no dragging. It's close, very low. Did some uh, after trimming to bring it perfectly around uh, the body, the, the chassis of the car, and then fit it to the ground. You can never trim cars up like this, right? The real cars. <laughs> you can just take a pair of scissors to uh, your personal car and trim it up that perfect. We have no rubbing. Full travel, no rubbing. It's a good fit. All right, I'm just gonna install some light buckets maybe. And uh, I like that. This video's uh, run long enough. It's just for the paint job. That looks nice, doesn't it? Check that out. I do have some Euro wheels I can put on it though. It really set it off. All right, thanks for watching. On to the next one.